This strategy from Film Booth made me pretty skeptical that it was actually gonna work, but after trying it on my own video that kinda tanked, it turned out that this actually works. Hold on, what are you talking about? What strategy? You haven't told me this yet. It's very simple. You take a video that's already been posted, you change the thumbnail, you change the title, maybe you change both, and all of a sudden, your video gets new life breathed into it. And if you think I'm wrong, well, let me show you what happened when I did this. My Unity video, which talks about how Unity screwed over game devs, very much underperformed. It only had like four views after a few days and it just was not getting any traction. Then I changed the thumbnail and I changed the title. It not only went from being a 10 out of 10 video of just being the absolute worst, but then it ended up not just becoming the top one video out of the last 10 videos I've published of the best, one of the best videos I've ever released apparently. I believe number eight on my channel at the time of this recording, which in my opinion, I don't think it's that good, but new viewers apparently disagree with me and like it a lot better than the other stuff. And all because I didn't change the editing. I actually made the editing a lot more simple, a lot more basic like I am with this video. But what changed is different thumbnail, different title. But how does this work? Why does changing the thumbnail and title breathe new life into a video? Well, sometimes a more reworded title just makes more sense to people than it did prior. And sometimes it causes more curiosity now, the reason why a thumbnail might need to be changed is maybe the thumbnail is too basic and people just are not interested in it. Or maybe it's just super busy with so many different things just everywhere that people just want to look away and they want anything to do with the video. They don't want to associate some, themselves watching it because eh, that just it's, it's just a head scratcher, you know? It just it looks weird, it's confusing. Make the thumbnail a lot better and a lot less busy, then it's going to grab their attention and all of a sudden they're watching. Remember, they're watching. They're always watching. But what happens if you try replacing one of these and nothing happens? Well, one of two things is the case here. Either you didn't give YouTube enough time to update with the new title or thumbnail, or the new packaging that you put on there is not as good as you thought it was. In which case, it comes down to trial and error. You start tr trying different thumbnails and titles at the same time the algorithm is searching different niches and looking for the right viewer. You gotta work together on, okay, how do we make this the most presentable to the best viewer possible? so that when the algorithm finds that viewer, the video is ready. And this is the beauty and horror of YouTube itself. One thing I highly suggest that you do, match the quality of the thumbnail with the video you're putting it on. If you're continuously putting good thumbnails on horrible videos that don't deserve good thumbnails, it kind of creates this clickbaity feel and people start kind of like not wanting to trust your old content, even if they do trust your new content. And if you don't believe me that this is the way you should go about it, go ahead and look at Mr. Beast or even some of the other large YouTubers. But if you take a look at his thumbnails, Look at his old videos, he doesn't update them. He leaves them be. And that's because their quality is nowhere near the quality of his modern, current time video. So let your old videos die and breathe new life into the ones you're currently working on. This also ensures that and frees up the time so you can make even more videos and hopefully make them better. Hey, it's me, Shards. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to click this one over here. I'm sure you're gonna love it. I'll see you over there. Don't forget to subscribe.